Hi, good afternoon. I'm here with Dr. Brad Rogers. Could I please ask you a few questions? Sure. Could you tell me where you are and what you're doing? Yeah, I'm a board certified family physician in a place called Kearney, Nebraska, a town of about 35,000, and I practice primary care. I take care of moms, dads, grandpas, and grandmas. Uh, the only thing I don't do anymore is deliver babies, uh, and I'm also a sports medicine doctor uh, where I take care of athletes at a local Division II college, and I'm the primary care physician for the local hockey team. And my wife and I also own a company called U Med Spa where we develop, develop, developed a program where we deliver all spa services and are into health and wellness. Our company is called UMed Spa a Wellness Collective. How important is preventive medicine for you? Uh, preventive medicine is very important to me. I think that we have um, an honor to be able to provide people with information where they can be smarter about their health care. And uh, I see um, a great number of people not doing what they should do. And I'll give you an example. At the turn of the century, uh, at the border of Kansas and Nebraska, the average person walked the equivalent of 10 miles a day. Uh, and they took blood samples on those people. And their cholesterols, when they got to be in their 80s, were actually over 300. And so being an octogenarian, uh, the number one risk factor for coronary disease actually is lack of exercise. People at the turn of the century actually ate more calories, had higher cholesterols, but because they were active, uh, it helped prevent uh, some of the diseases they would have to make it all the way to 80. So I'm very interested in both nutrition and activity. So where are you now at this moment and what are you doing here? Uh, I'm in Salt Lake City. I've never been here. I'm at a convention for New Skin uh, and uh, learning about how to be a better provider of supplements that have been well studied. Uh, I used to be the quality manager for the hospital and our theory there was if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. And I mentioned that at the talk today in that this scanner machine that we can put on people's hands can allow us as clinicians to measure their health where they're at as far as preventive care uh, and longevity and then put them on appropriate supplements and allow them to use these and then remeasure them six to eight weeks later and, sh later and show them their improvement. And as you will find out, 95% of people on this program improve. And so I was trained a long time ago that physicians and I think regular people uh, need to understand a graph that a fourth grader can understand. And this information is appropriate for their health care, but it's at a level that we can help them understand what we're doing. Well, wow, thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. And good luck in your practice. You're very welcome, Lawrence. Thank you, sir.